Hello everybody and welcome back to Gamers Garden. My name is Omni and we are continuing The Witcher of the Wild Hunt and Threads. So we have finally, uh, we're finally going to do it. We're going to meet Yennefer, Yennefer in Indiersfjall. Excuse me, uh, I had something stuck in my throat for a spell. Um, in the meantime, we've also got uh, uh, Cirrus to become the Queen of Skellige. Or the Skell Exile. So now she rules over the lands, and she plans to make peace with it. More down to earth sort of thing, more tactical and shit like that. But hey, it's our first time being here. And we've got a notice board too. You know what that means? Some extra contracts and quests. Uh, Freya's priestess visit. Boys not mine. Okay, sailing west. Contract monster on the high road. Nice. You stay home. You don't know as it is. Great. Oh, and the races. Nice. Sweet. Cool. I want to go to this inn for a spell. Because, because wait a minute, this guy looks very familiar. Greetings. Impressive tavern. A tavern? This ain't no tavern. It is the House of Warriors. Mm. So what do folk do in the House of Warriors? Fight? At times, one will take the other and give them a good slap in eye. But mostly, folk come here to drink, eat, warm their bones by the fire, chatter a bit. Maybe listen to a skull bay to the moon. About what folk do at a tavern. <sighs> ah. Continentals don't understand a thing. You need some of our mead. Brood wisdom at us. Let me see what you got. Because I need some think? of those... Uh, I, need look. Um, I need some... Uh, what are they? You don't have any of them. You only have the one thing. And that is the cherry cordials. Alright, let's get on to this. We gotta go meet her. It's about time we've done this. Oh, shit. There's a quest. You doing all right? I have a word. I serve the goddess. What can I help you I guess I just encountered a random encounter. Oh, this is a race. Nothing, nothing. Nothing at the moment. Farewell. Her I'll come. I'll come back for that. Cause I don't want to do the races. I I'll do that in my spare time. Oh, there's another exclamation point over here. Who are you? Why are you here? Could ask you the same. Places like this, usually home to necrophages alone. They're corpse eaters, aye. And they grow bolder by the day. Crawl out to attack the living. We'll kill them all. Clear the mine with our swords in our hands. Honor our fathers in doing so. Well, looks like you need a witcher's help, too. I'm a witcher. Could go with you and help. And steal the glory to us. No chance. Glory won't do much for you if ghouls are gnawing on your bones. Hmm. When you're thinking it, makes sense. <laughs> all right. You lead the way, then. Ooh. For fame and glory. Looks like, uh, hey, help him. Uh, I'm gonna need to axie this so that they'll stay alive. Oh, fuck. These guys are gonna die. Yeah, you can deal with that one. Nope, you can't. Are you staying? Are you gonna stay here? Yes, you are. Good. Just stay over here. I'll 
I like this new, um... Whoa, shit. Last one. Drag the corpses outside. Burn them. Other ghouls don't scorn their cousins' corpses. Aye. True. It's good you came. Seems Freya watches or us to have let you here. We're grateful. And will be for long. <clears throat> Folk are generous with gratitude. Not so much with coin. Oh, hi. Sorry. After blow of the bottle, we're still caught up. Damn you, slice him good. Here, for you. Thanks. Farewell. Well, that was easy. Where's that chest? May your ops never crumble. Superior. I'll take that. Take some manuscripts, too. Oh, hey. Nice. Well, that was very interesting. I'm going this way. And there's also a chest here, too. Take those. Mm, nice. Now that we are back on track and I've got some rewards, we can go see Yennefer. Hopefully there won't be any problems. What the? Oh shit. Is this um, the cart thing? So I've got a, I got a lot of quests that I plan to do after this one. So it's the tower out of nowhere, which I encountered while trying to find the Griffin armor. Wool, uh, in wolf's clothing, clothing. Uh, it's one we just got. There's no entry. Um, here's a pursuit. Uh, we got this glory. Okay, this is a horse race. I want to do that. Found find his keeper. Same thing. When I was hunting for Griffin and Urzan armor. Um. Yeah. And then now, strange beast. Okay. Well, before I start anything, I'm just going to do the main quest. Do 
Lofoten Cemetery. Not much to the eyes. Ah, Yennefer. Hello there, Yen. Greetings, Yen. Good thing you're here. The frostbite was starting to set in. Well, well. You should have worn warmer clothing. That's something I need to take care of. Had a matter to tend to. A matter that brought no delay, I presume. What was it? A Necker contract? Somehow hard that. Can we go? <laughs> Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisville. But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. Um... Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm. This must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Such thing. Come on, Yennefer. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. Um, we're looking for an ashen haired young woman. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She's not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many. I may have forgotten. This, this Siri. Uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment. Right before, before it all. She was in the stables. With Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Um. What was Siri doing here? Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And. And her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. I'm sorry, Ska. Craven. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkva. Um, what the fuck is that? Morkvarg. What's that? Who, hey, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm, know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were. So he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. Great. Two things I specialize in. Um... I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Barvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. 
so cowards usually don't usually fight monsters. Whatever. I don't want to talk to these bitches anymore. Come on. Where is the holy garden? Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Okay, thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freya as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Yen. I can't. I believe you're telling a lie. A very big lie. What are you gonna do unless I can Great. So now we gotta look for. Where is this trail? Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Geralt, she's got you there. You just got your ass served. That's not the word. That was stupid. You just got put in your place again. How about that? My, my. That must be Mork. A bite of just one morsel. <laughs> one piece. A crumb. Uh, uh, food. Uh, food. Uh. <coughs> Shank. Not, not again. Not again. <laughs> I guess he's starving to death. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. <laughs> What's that supposed so, to be? Where should we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. I thought that was gonna be something. But, yeah. I mean. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Cool. I expected you to object. Thought you might object. Me? Please. I can be extraordinarily conciliatory. Yen, look me in the eye. What are you plotting? Many things. How to seize the Temerian crown. Gravy. How to sell Camorin out from under you. Go already. That's... That's fucked up. Geralt, you love this bitch? Oh shit. Craven's blood, flowing profusely, trails clear, should lead me to him. Well, I'm pretty sure he came down here. Or not. Wolf. Victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. 
Well, what is it? I came closer. What? To transform into a werewolf. It's a dog's life, huh? Well, there's not a youth out there who doesn't have a wolf in his belly. Then the curse confined him to this garden. Couldn't really cut his wolf loose. No question he was top dog here. <laughs> Just wolfing things down, or not. Geralt. That's a knock. Hmm. Fine. Still had a few good ones at the tip of my tongue. I'm sure you did. We'll say you won. Ah, I love that. They're very, they're, they're cute. They're, they're humorous to each other. And Geralt, Geralt, you've got feelings. You may not have an emotional, but you've got feelings. I found a corpse. Not Craven's, though. Uh huh. And you thought I'd find this interesting because you do because you. no bite marks. <laughs> it. It doesn't seem strange to you. Zeracanian cuisine. Dandelion's fame and shoes with curly toes seem strange to me, yet I don't discuss them with you. Reading between the lines here, think I'm wasting your time. I mean merely that we should focus on what's most important at the moment. You wanted to know what I was All right, saying. Going back down. Be careful. Me. All right. Oh, more blood stains. blood. God damn it, stop it. Uh, what the hell is this? A blue ball. Alright, I've already examined that. This, I need those. And okay, more. More blood stains. Scratchings. Examine the scratches. Morkvog doesn't give up easily. I guess he's in there. Morkvog doesn't give up easily. I wanted to knock on the door, uh, at least go to the door. Door. He went this way and frolicked in the fields over here. Lots of prints, old and new. This lair must be nearby. Does he? No illusions. Could it be that he dives into the water? just goes a certain way. Hmm. Or he goes over the wall. That's it. that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Huh. Use the lever. Does the water flow? Or all right, the water flows that way. So what I want to do is open the first one. Then I want to. I guess that wasn't right. Maybe. 
be get this one running. I guess that will stay up. I guess now we can swim through it. I think I want to explore more of this herbarium, herbarium, herbarium. So, cannonball. Lots of you. Glad I came here. So I guess he was a coward, coward too. So jump. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt, you scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Sure, no problem. But I saw some yellow. treasure down here, unfortunately, but prints. Blood and prints. Oh, there he is. Damn, dead. Has been for a while. Yeah, found him. And? He's dead. And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Um, I'm guessing you have a plan. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. <sighs> Come on, someone wants to meet you. Spigrog Longsword, which I'm going to sell immediately. Putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk. Even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. <laughs> but I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Well. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. We're about to make some enemies. We are about to make some enemies. I don't need everyone to like me. I most value the opinions of those I care about. You, for example. So, can we start? Mm -hmm. Right away. 
Selene, Selene, Dufrain. Selene, Selene, Davidar. of Lofferton. No, I... Uh, we're looking for Siri. We're looking for Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's wise. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No. Speak! Ah. Oh. Speak! She fell! Flashback. Sorry, I was a little late for that. So, he saved her. Oh, holy crap. Oh, there she is. She fell from the sky. There's that ill. Help me. Help us both. Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Drowned. Dead rock. Well. This is quite interesting. You're awake. And I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But... how did I... what? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Uh... You guys help me up. Help... help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a sec, and then he's already put his paws on a girl. Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. Come, we're off to the sauna. What? Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. Um. That well, one. I'm sorry. We gotta continue this. But I must get to drown Dead Rock as fast as possible. Shan't force you to stay. But the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skial can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine. That'll do. 
Thank you both very much. Pish posh, there's no need. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. Where are my clothes? I've taken them already. Come on. Taken them. Where? That man in the mask. He's from afar, isn't he? Oh, yes. From very far away. Where exactly? Aren't you nosy? Surprised? I'd sitting in this fish puddle me whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. This is the place before it all turned into a, a, a frostbitten land. Cool. Alright, all the last oh. this on. Let's just get ahead of this. Am I losing health? I have no idea. Ah, that's a wall. Right in here. Alright, in you go and get out of those rags. All of them? I should think so. Oh boy. Um... Let's make it... Let's cover. Sensor. Uh... I say, dress and leave. You got to get the hell. Taking you. You need help? No, I'm almost ready. All right, fine. Fine. Undress. Wrap yourself in a towel. Go to sauna. yourself in a towel. Well. Now I've got to censor a whole lot. Oh, great. Oh. Cool. Now we can get the hell out of here and watch the inevitable death of everyone here. Storms are coming. Gotta go to your mom. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? Um... No, just said that you like me. I'm sorry, but I can't bring myself to chat right now. Right. Besides, it's not important. I'll take Njord. You can ride Grey back. She's old, but she'll make the... Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and... I can look after myself. Whoa. That escalated real quick. Not even screams. The Wild Hunt. Oh, what a nice effect. Holy shit. Holy shit. Good thing I healed. Jesus Christ. Ah, damn it. Wild Hunt Warrior. Okay, come on, keep moving. Take him out. And he's dead. Ah, damn it, I'm really getting hurt. And he's dead. Oh, shit. Take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. Oh, 
they just keep coming. Where's the horse? Let me guess, the horses are dead. Nope, what? they're alive. What was that? The wild hunt. Right the rock. The world's end. No, not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. Uh, what about your family? You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go. I'm not. I'm definitely moving forward. Faster! Faster! They're catching up! Whoa, okay. That was close. Whoa! Don't get killed. I get killed now. I'm fucked. Come on, keep running. Shit. We're almost there. Almost there. So close. Did we make it? They got away. And I guess he survived. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Him. What was Uma doing on Skellige at that time? What became of that creature? Where is he? I know. <laughs> what? This tree, I'm guessing, did not like that. What happened to the garden? What? What happened to the garden? It died. Like I said, the spell. 
It requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Could have shown a little sympathy. Could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He... That was no boy, Count. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Didn't just speak. It howled in pain. I know it seemed real, but it was no longer human. Do you understand? Yeah. Nice of you to be so concerned for the corpse. Much more than you were for me. Hi, how are you feeling? Yen, are you alright? I'm splendid. I'd feel even better if I hadn't had to remind you to ask that question. Great, now let's get out of here. Yen, let's get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! I could you! We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now! Don't you dare try to calm me! We've every right to be furious! Furious! And you! You will pay for this! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that all? Will you say nothing else? What do you want nothing me to say? Help. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you, sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds. Poor Yen. Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Skal told us. We know Ciri's not in Skellige, but the ugly creature. Key to finding Ciri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You and know, I know where it is. I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, in a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron. Now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardle. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. It's cursed. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. Hold on. Say what you were going to say. What did you want to say? You were going to ask me something. What was it? Tell me. Do you think... Is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That... Well... She's been transformed by some curse? Don't no. even want to think about it. Geralt, we must... Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. So, now we know Ciri's Didn't learn Ciri's much, though, though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not, anymore. not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared, again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. Uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it, safe and sound. That I promise you. I hope so. So what's now? Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Need a bit of time. 
Can we do this later? Sorry, need to take care of something. Well, if you must, you must. I shall wait for you in Larvik for a time. If you don't make it, we'll meet in Vizima. After all, we do owe the Emperor a report. Siri is our concern, ours alone. Perhaps. But that is not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Awfully loyal. Being awfully loyal to your patron. He's your patron as well, dear. Don't forget that. Lest he remind you of it himself. So be it. If we gotta, we gotta. So be it. We'd never have known Siri had returned if not for Emma and his agents. We owe him this. See you again. Take care of yourself. Wait. This matter in Larvik. It really is important to me. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tarry. Only just gonna do a couple of contracts and beat the crap out of some people. Well, I guess that's it for today's episode. Holy shit. Uma. Yeah, now we gotta go see Uma. Damn, holy shit, this is... Really fucked. But anyways, that's all the time for I, I have for this episode. To ne uh, next time, we're going to do a bunch of quests. I'm gonna do this one on my own, but... Um, I'm hopefully gonna do this one. Finders Keepers, uh, a Tower Out of Nowhere, The Last Wish, wait, is this it? Yeah. Hopefully we can do these and then The Last Wish. Or we can do that immediately. But in regards, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here. Yeah, leave a like if you did, subscribe to the channel and like content. And remember that Game of Scar is home for all games to all games. Don't be afraid to recommend any game. Thank you, have a great and wonderful day.